Good evening Year 11s, it's Mr Omara here. Now that we're finished with our context responses, it's time to start getting ready for the oral presentations. Because I'm not here on Monday, which is kind of unexpected, I thought I'd give you a bit of a heads up. This presentation will go for less than five minutes. So, the first thing that you need to know is that this presentation is persuasive. It is not just presenting information, it is to get your audience, which is me and the other students in the class, to agree with you on a particular point of view. Now, some people find this quite confusing, so I'm going to step quickly through it. The difference here is between what is an issue and what is a contention. Now, we've sort of talked about contentions a little bit with our essay, but I guess the contention is the point that you are trying to make. So, to give you an example of this, there's a music service that's been very popular overseas, and it's just been made available in Australia, and it's called Spotify. If I was just doing an informative presentation, which you guys are not, then I would just tell you all about Spotify. It's just a transfer of information from me to you. But that is not the nature of the presentation that you're doing. So my issue might be Spotify, but my contention needs to be something that I want you to believe. So, you know, Spotify is evil, or Spotify will save music. Something which isn't a hard and fast fact, but something that I want you to believe about the issue. So, a few of you have kind of, oh yeah, I'm going to do it about issue X. Well, it's not enough to do it about issue X. You've got to make me believe something about it. You've got to have a contention. I'll give you another example. One of you was um, stumbled upon this topic, I think it might have been Ben, and it was about gang violence. And gang violence is, again, that's an issue. You know, you could talk about gang violence all day long, but it's not the same as persuading somebody. So a contention might be gang violence is worse than ever. Or gang violence isn't a big problem or something that you would actually have to argue the point. And remember, the point of a presentation isn't just to blab on, it's to actually convince somebody of what it is that you're saying. So, once you've picked your issue and your contention, then you need to get down to research. And here's what you need to do when you're researching. The first thing that you should probably do, and this is probably the easiest, is look at newspaper articles and blog posts and so forth about this. Um, government pages are good in terms of official statistics and get figures. And when I say figures, I mean just raw numbers. So, you know, if you're talking about Spotify, you might say, you know, did you know that 7 million tracks were listened to on the first day that Spotify was available in Australia? You know, that's a figure, rather than saying, oh, lots of people use it. That's not a figure, that's a very broad statement. So, you know, actual figures, 7, 7 million or 70 million or 700 actual figures. The other figures that are good are statistics, such as, you know, by the end of 2012, 80% of teenagers will be using Spotify. Um, or, you know, four out of five teenagers will be using it, but hard and fast figures. So that's one thing you want. And again, you're probably going to find these mostly in news stories, although depending on your topic, um, government websites are good. You know, the Bureau of Statistics, depending on what you're arguing, but the government studies almost everything and, and those figures are good to find. The other thing which you'll probably find more on news sites is stories about it. Again, just Google your topic and look at newspapers. Newspapers, you know, they're called news stories for a good reason. Whenever they talk about anything really, they have a story of somebody who's impacted by it. So you go in and you can lift out some of those stories. So then in your presentation you can say, you know, this person was affected by gang violence. Or this particular musician says that Spotify is going to ruin them. So definitely go and find stories. The other thing that you should be on the lookout for are good quality pictures. Um, again, we'll talk about the niceties of where you can get them from and how you can use them um, later this week. But for now, just find pictures. Bookmark the pages they're on or copy them into a Word document with a URL where you found them and so forth. So, you should have enough to go on with. You should be able to go and start doing your presentations. With any luck, I'm going to put up another little bit here about how to do a particularly good presentation. But um, for now, this should get you going.